Welcome back, Banner Lords. This is Star Lord from Wombat Gaming, bringing you our next chapter in our series walkthrough of the game Banner Lord. So, uh, last series we rescued our, our last chapter, I should say, we rescued our family, and we have um, been earning some gold and well, uh, money, dinars in this game, and hiring some companions, getting them to do tasks for us. And we just decided to do a walkthrough of this city, so we're currently just going to do that now. There was a lot of things you can see if you press Alt, you can all these little things are going to show up. Um, I don't know what they all mean as yet, but you can see a clip haircut maybe, and uh, there's a person to talk to up that way. There's another person down that way. There's another person over that way. So um, yeah, we can. There's a blacksmith. We can see the throne room up there. There's a, a lion over here. I wonder what that is. That's pretty close. Maybe we can have a look. Uh, red flag over there. Maybe that's the tournament. Lion thing seems to be too far away though. Let's go up here. Maybe there's an open door. And we have someone here we can talk to. This guy is a brewer. Well now, stranger. Or she, sorry. Peace to you. Well, she's floating on me. Name? My gosh, check those eyes out. My gosh. Um, <laughs> well, my name is Andros, madam. Uh, may I ask yours? Uh, I'm a Sheetha, a merchant of uh, Quisura? Quisia? My pronunciation, by the way, being Australian is terrible. Office, um, I own a brewery. All right, well, <laughs> she'd be the perfect wife, technically, in, anyway, my land. Uh, <laughs> those eyes, though. She has eyes for me. Anyway, she owns a brewery, so um, I can't marry her, unfortunately. But anyway, here we go. Um, I know your name. I've heard you recently caught some bandits. Speaking of as emergent, um, we appreciate any efforts to make the road safer. All right, cool. Um, I can buy a brewery, which I'm not going to, but I can get my first caravan going. So let's have a look. It's 15,000. It's going to use quite a considerable amount of my cash at the moment, but um, why not? It's uh, We haven't got one up and running yet from this uh, at all, and this is a good down the bottom of the map, a good place to start. We don't want to have too many caravans coming out of the same place anyway, so. Um, we don't want better troops. Uh, apparent when they die, these troops they become regular anyway. So I'm just going to stick with this. It's uh, and we're going to get one of my party leaders to to do this. So um, we're not going to get my brother. Uh, we're just going to use uh, Dominic the Dead Eye. We should have really looked for um, someone who had more experience in trade and things like that as a companion so we're going to st start looking for those people but i think we've done that now i wonder why she didn't come up as a, an option for the caravan anyway um let's exit out of here and i've already got that one and don't want to go to the arena. So let's leave. And if we scroll out from the map, all right, we will soon have, I guess, a caravan running. Let's have a look at our parties. So he is our, so he needs, so yeah, so he, trade school wasn't very good. So we need to like look for people who have a better trade school. Check it, the Swift would have been a better option, but she's solving an issue somewhere else. So I really only could have used him. I would have preferred to use uh, Chicheka, but I couldn't. So that's... Um, Work our way down the coast again. What have we got going on here? Landlord needs access to the commons. We don't need that. 
Got room for... we don't want any soldiers, so I'll cancel that. Gonna work our way around this tip down here. Got some upgrades. Still got a few looters here. And we've got a few quests, overpriced materials, getting needs recruits. We're still struggling with the other one. There's no tournament happening. Um, so we're not going to bother with this. We're going to leave and make our way down this way. Now, another thing uh, to remember, I guess, is... So, horses are in great supply down here, but if we go north, you'll see that there are no horses. Well, there's horses here. So, there are some horses. We basically need to be trading goods that aren't somewhere else. So, like, that looks like a coffee bean or something, and uh, there's grapes and things. So, grapes, obviously, would be selling for a lot down this way. Where am I? Um, but so horses is not a good thing but um, let's go and see what's this mine about over here certain things might sell better up north so let's have a look what have they got to say it's salt so salt all right see so, so you can sell it at Habia for 56 which are making a profit of 10 on each. So we we sell if we buy all that, it's a thousand. So we're making an extra 10 on every one, an extra 300. So we need, but we do need to make our way to Habia. And we need to find that to make the, the most profit, I guess. So uh, we've got a decent amount of dinars. So, and we're good for grain at the moment. We have 21 days supply of food. Um, we probably need a diversity of food though, so we're going to buy this cheese and butter. Uh, our troops don't like to eat the same thing all the time. Let's have a look at this city over here and see what's happening. We've got a few quests happening here. Caravan ambush. Army of Poachers and Rival Gang. Well, the Army of Poachers seems to be good. Um, no, no, there's no tournament happening. The Tavern District, we have Jamar. Let's see what Jamar's deal is. All right. So, uh, Jamar. There he is. So he is, he's just a fighter. Got some roguery skills. Oh no, that's the wrong guy. Hang on. Uh, Jamar. It's, oh, he just looks different. Okay, yeah, that's him. Yeah, okay. So we don't really want him, so... We don't want to sell our prisoners. So back to Trown Center. And we're going to have a look at this one. Army of Poachers. Just have to have a chat to this dude. I... I don't think I know you. Peace to your stranger. Um, yeah, my name is Andras. Who are you? I am Jamar, a merchant in Razath. I own a wood shop here. Um, I know your name. I hear it recently. Quite some bandits. I'd say good work. Um, I think the other merchants around here will agree. Cleanse the roads of the vermin so that we can trade. And then um, we can buy his wood shop or we can get a caravan going through this guy as well. We don't have the money for that. So let's have a look at his problem. So, uh, he's got a few problems. A few years ago, he needed some hides for a tannery and hired some hunters. Didn't ask too many questions. Big mistake. And then, basically, they, they, uh, just, yeah, he, they ripped him off. So now, he, they've banded together as a gang. They're trying to muscle him out of the leather industry. So, um, he wants me to crush them. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so he wants me to go to this town and give them a lesson. They won't forget. Hmm. I don't know. So... Needs 18... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like... What's... I mean, what... He's not... What's he gonna do? They're poachers, so... Yeah. Paid well. He's not actually telling me what he's gonna pay me. This could be a bit of a problem. Let's have a look. Out of the skins, uh, the beasts in the wood, they go to the village at night, stash their highs. The villagers are terrified of them, I believe. If you go there to the village late at night, you should be able to track them down. Okay, late at night. And... We don't know what we're going to be getting in return, but okay, let's um, leave. Have a look at this quest. And head towards that city, I guess. Don't quick. Okay. Where is it? Here it is over here. Let's make our way over here. It's almost night, so that's probably good timing, actually. All right, here we go. We get to fight the poachers. We could negotiate with them. I think. Would that be... Let's see what negotiating is like. Well, you are working for that merchant in town, so it's all fine when the rich folk trade in poached skins, but if we do it, the armed men come to hunt us down. Hmm, good point, I guess. Maybe we can come to an agreement. Uh, or, I am here to do a job I agreed to do, outlaw, give up or die. Well, you have a point. Go on, I won't bother you. Well, I'm not going to do that, so... Maybe we can come to an agreement. So, maybe. Alright, so we've got some options here. For fail and chance. So, these two here are the most chance. Well, the top one has the most chance. You're not bad people. You can easily, uh, easily put your trade somewhere else. That was successful. Okay, but... Um, Yes, you might be correct. We got need one more. What's there to discuss? Okay, so let's talk about poor folk. But I think the people here like their village turned into a nest of outlaws. Hmm, he probably doesn't like that. Um, you had an agreement with Jamal the carpenter. Your word is your bond. No matter which side the lawyer on. I like that one. So yes, we're successful. All right, I see. You made your point. Gain some renowns and relationships increased. Did we actually get anything for doing that? Anyway, still got these guys out and about. Um, get some troops to upgrade. We don't want to upgrade these troops yet. Footmen, we're still looking for poachers, so we're gonna. Um, yeah, well, anyway, we not sure what we actually got from that. Did we actually get anything? We may have gotten some clay or salt or something, maybe? There's no hides in here, so... Anyway. Not really sure what we got then. Okay, um, where are we? Let's, um, make our way down this way. Got a little symbol here that's probably grain or something like that. Yeah, dates. Okay, so dates seem pretty expensive, but I'm guessing that dates are only sold down in this area, so, but we're not going to go spending money on dates just yet until we figure out that we can sell them a better price somewhere else because they're 52 dinar each so it's quite expensive but depending on the profit you can turn i guess yeah um let's buy the the butter though and the cheese and we don't really let's leave we don't need any more troops we're probably going to get our troops back let's have a look at the map a lot of map down here, you can wander around. Um, I'm going to go around this map down to this way. 
So let's zoom around this way. I'm guessing that symbol is for dates. Oh, we got some looters. Let's get those guys. They're not looking for a fight. You're not. Well, neither am I. If you surrender, you'll never take us alive. Well, we'll see about that. So no casualties on my side. Got a little bit of renown, renown and morale's up a little bit. Four looters and some loot. Okay, so what's happening over this way? Oh, there's some more bandits. See if we can catch up with these guys. Looters. We got no quarrel with you. We are quest timed out on collecting those recruits. I knew that was going to happen. All right. Um, send in the troops. No deaths. We've got a little bit more renown and morale. It's good. A couple of looters and some more stuff to sell. Oh, who's this? Okay, so there's um, our trader, Dominic. So he's off on his... Um, Caravan expedition. Okay, so yeah, we failed that quest down here, but what else have we got left? These are ongoing and being done by other people, which is good. Almost. We'll wait till these guys get to nine and let's the five before we level them up. I wonder what horses are here. No, nearly 400 each. That is expensive. All right. So we're entering a different um, cultural area, as you can see now. So I'm not interested in the castle so much at the moment. This is another city we haven't been to. Let's see if there's a tournament or something happening. Go to the arena. Nope. Okay. Um, she has an issue with betting fraud. She's a gang leader. Maybe we might go to the tavern and see who's there. We've got Tora Willowbark. Alright, let's see what Tora Willowbark's deal is. Um, she... So, yeah, I've got male, female. Okay, here we go, Tora. All right, so she's got decent medicine, and that's about it, really. Um, so medicine would be a good as a companion for myself. So having her in the in my own army would actually quite be handy. So I'm gonna have a chat to her and see whether she'll come on board. Hi. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Got evil eyes. Weird eyes. Um, I am Andros. Let's skip the pleasantries and get right to business, I think. Um, I could use someone with you in my company. She's pretty cheap, actually. 373. Welcome to the... the clan, so to speak. And we'll use her for her medicine... We have some goods we can get rid of. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Actually, what's her get up like? I should check this stuff because I should give her some better equipment if we can help it. Um, All 
Right. All right, we got a town, I think, down here. We we're gonna have a look at. Go sell dates again. 31's a lot cheaper than the dates we had up there before. You can sell these at Quisaria for 44. That's a profit of 13 per. So it's got a, a small profit at Quisia. We'll take what's that gonna cost us? Okay, but Quisia is all the way back up here, yeah. a long way to go for let's head back that way though this is a downside when you're buying stuff okay it's coming going over here let's have a look quickly here while we're here Family feud. Oh, we really want to get involved in a family feud. Let's have a look. Hey, so who are you then? Uh, my name is Andros. I ask your name. I am Lu Luthrios. Luthrios. I own land around here. I speak for many other people in this village. I've heard of you. Uh, at last we meet. You sound like a good man to know. Let us speak together from time to time. And I'll say, I have heard you have a, need some help with a problem. One of my relatives fell victim to his temper during a quarrel and killed a man. We have offered to pay the blood money, but the family of the deceased have stubbornly refused it. It turns out the deceased is kin of Pytros of Epilos, an elder of the region and now a man of Abulos, have sworn to kill my relative. Hmm, that sounds pretty serious. My family is concerned for the boy's life. He has gone into hiding the village commons. We need someone to protect him until Pardios sees reason, accepts the blood money, and ends the feud. We could be internally grateful if you could help my relative and take him. I don't know. We could send a companion uh, with five of my men. At least I don't have to do it at least, I guess. Um, I'll send Nathos with five good men. All right, and he's gonna give us 661 dinars to do that, so. Okay, that's, um, the city over here. I haven't been to. We don't want to do another artisan's uh, can't sell. Is there anybody in the tavern? No. And we don't need to trade. Go to the arena. We, there's no tournaments. We're just going to leave. And we're gonna. There's a guy down here with a question mark. Who's this? Let's have a chat to this That's guy. That's close enough. Who are you? My name is Endros, sir. May I ask your name? I am Lucon, rightful emperor of the Calradians. I am a lord of Aragon, Aragorn, and Dithama. Hmm, important person. I will also listen to a man of integrity. On the other hand, if you lack that. Please do not plague me with your company. I'll ask him about the Battle of Pandricia. Yes, I was a junior officer on the Nebati staff. People say much about the battle that betrays the lack of understanding of the Nerites and of the circumstances he faced. Nerites had an obligation to avenge 
the t attacks on our land. He marched out with all his forces he could gather. The Valdanians betrayed us, but that's what you'd expect from the honorless barbarians. Fortune favored the enemy. The matter is that we did what honor required. Okay. Perhaps Nebertes was rash, sending our infantry up into the hills to storm the Batanian fort, but he thought he would grab the pass quickly before the enemy had time to enforce it. If he'd made the other wager and that turned out to be wrong, people would say he, was, he wasn't hesitant. I stayed with Nebertes until we were forced back to our camp by the Sturgeon infantry and then fought on the battlements. Eventually we could hold them no longer. I did not see what happened to Nebertes or to our banner. Arknokias got us out there and got us home. I did not respect Aranokis, but that day I saw he was worthy to be emperor. Okay, thank you. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, updated my log, so it's another person I need to speak to. Is there anything else? Uh, I think I had a problem. What's the problem? So, um, hi, he's got a, horses that um, he had on his many animals will drop dead of exhaustion while the troops soldier on. Yet, if we don't keep our stocks up, the enemy will run rings around us. What do you need? Okay, so he needs four horses. You need Midlands Paffreys because we know how to use them. Um, bring them back to me and a bag of 1940 denars will be in your pocket. So we need Midlands Paffreys. I'm not pronouncing that right. One of your command companions. I don't have a companion free at the moment, I think. Um, we good for the wager. I could do it myself. So let's... Um, four of those I don't know I'm gonna get super lucky here and be able to buy them straight away but let's have a look no so um not really sure where to get these horses from that's probably it was quite a specific type of horse so um, there's another guy over here that has a question mark on him as well. Now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. My name is Andros, sir. May I ask your name? I am Pat. Petra, the house of Petros, thought one should not be too proud of one's lineage. I am glad to say that we have always taken seriously our duty to protect the common folk of the Empire. Hmm, good to know. I'm always looking for good fighters. If you ask about me, I suspect you've been told that I will take good care of my men. We're going to ask him about the battle as well. Um, he wasn't there. He doesn't know any thoughts on it. And uh, let's see if he's got a problem we can help him with. I don't need the services of strangers. I work only for lords of the realm. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, um, we will leave and bid our farewells. We, we need to get back up. I'll take that for a moment. What are our quests looking like? We don't want to miss out on anything. We do need to get back to this town. And we need to find these horses. So... And we got an extra one there. So we need eight more people to talk to. But... Um, we need to head back to this town anyway to sell some goods. These horses. Where am I going to get Midlands? Paphiles. I don't even know how to pronounce that. 
someone knows um, I'll have to look that one up um, we need to find them so I'm not really sure where to get those from I got siege going on over here or something some burning and looting um, it's no horse symbols I'm guessing he There's a horse symbol down here. Let's make our way down this way. It's from this region, so... Nope. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, we're making our way back to all right. So I'm in on our way back. Cool, and we need to track the city anyway. We're heading back that way. After all that, we couldn't even sell those goods. That's quite annoying. Let's see what's happening in this city as we go past. Any tournaments? No. Anybody in a tavern? No. Horses that we're after? No. Gonna have to figure out where to get those horses from. The courier arrives from uh, Ferron, head of the Leonepides. He proposes that his kinswoman, Halia, marries. Nathos from your clan the couple appear to be compatible to accept hmm well, that's my brother so I mean he's a wife okay why not I'm not sure who this chick is we probably should have looked at that first but this is our first marriage ah oh, it's like a shy little thing well our first marriage Alright, well, our family's has gotten a little bit bigger. And we have a quest here for Village Needs Draft Animals, so this might be something easily to complete. Let's have a look. Hi. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Uh, I am Andros. Who are you? I am Dirwek Quill. I lived all my life here, working the land as to my kin. He speaks for the people, essentially, in a town. I know your name. It's good to meet you. Should it be? Okay, so I've heard you might need some help with something. Um, last winter, that was hard on animals. A number died from diseases. We can't afford to slaughter even the oldest and weakest because their animals uh, need to be pulled to plow. So they basically need more animals. So the ability to play 1460 for eight healthy and strong mules. All right, 1460 for eight mules. Okay. We can do that. I could send a chi check off and she has good trade. So it'll take six days and it'll be done. So, she just needs a couple of men to go with her. Alright, um, and that'll be done. Alright. Still going good for grain. Hang on, 
What's this over here? Oh, I didn't close this. Okay. Need to get rid of that. Let's have a look at our, um, our clan here. So we've got some... He's solving an issue, but he's got a new wife. So we need to... Edwin's in our party. He's on a caravan. She's solving an issue. She's got... I need to use her for caravans. So we'll be looking to use her for caravans. Medicine. Okay. Let's have a look up here. We've got a attribute point we can use. We do need to get, I think, leadership up. Let's do social. And we have a focus point we can use. I haven't used Stuart at all yet. Let's do that. Actually, we wanted to sorry look at some of the other guys just to see what's happening here. Let's make sure there's no... So that's our new wife. Um, she's good at stewardship. Charm. Writing. Okay. And trade. So good to know. She's got a good trade. Quests in here overpriced raw materials and gang needs recruits. Ah, oh, I hate gang reads recruits. I really don't do well with gang reads recruits. Anybody in a tavern? We have Radul Frostbeard. Let's have a look at Radul Frostbeard. What's he's good at? He is good at scouting, bow, and athletic and two-handed sword fighting so yeah i mean i've seen better people we're not going to bother with him and there's nothing else really to do here i don't really want to oh we wanted to check for horses other oh, pack animals the mules that's what we needed didn't we i think let's have a look at the mules we needed Um, oh, we sent someone else to do that. We don't need to do that ourselves. It's a shame. We could have done that quite easily. That's all right. All right. That's... Get some looters. Let's catch up with these guys. Heading that We're way anyway. Just yeah, sure you are. Um, I don't think so. Brigand, surrender or die. We seriously. Oh, we've got another army in now, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we're gonna get hardly anything out of this. In fact, we got six gold. That was pretty terrible. All right. Um, heading back up this way. Heading towards Wasara. Bigger the army, I guess, more the spoils. He might have got to the right bandits before us. All right, here's the Quasara where we can sell some of that goods that we had. And 
And we had, what did we have? We had, was it dates, date fruit? We're getting 41 here for them, so that's a pretty good price, yeah. Alright, so... And then, I don't think the salt, maybe. I think it was the salt that we had to get rid of as well. Okay. And, oh look, we got these one of those horses we're looking for. <laughs> one. Uh, we need a few more though, than that one. Alright, so, still gets us a good healthy profit. Looking good for grain. Still got some butter. Let's have a look. We desperately want a bow that I can use, but... Can't level up the bow unless I've got a bow, so that's kind of silly. Let's, um... Grab some cheese, just, and a bit of butter. Alright, done. There's no Tom ornament happening. Alright, um, we are gonna head back this way, because we really did want to head down, down here, so. Let's keep an eye out for bandits on the way, and brigands as such. We need to get three more of these these ponies. A few lords in this town. Maybe there's a tournament. Nope. Okay. Quith the Golden. Who is Quith the Golden? Alright, so this guy's got a lot of skills. So he has a lot of leadership skills, good at tactics, good at horse riding. He's very good at fighting. I mean, like, this would be a valuable person to have for tournaments. So, definitely going to pick this guy up. Let's have a chat to with. Peace to you. Peace to you too. Um, what is it then? I could use someone you like in my company. 560, I think that's going to be well worth it. I already have no more companions that I can manage. Oh, okay. Do I have... Um, That's interesting. So there is a companion limit. So let's have a look at our companion limit and see if we can talk to one of our people that we don't need. We've got Tora. Let's have a look at we've got Tora and Edwan Calthief with us at the moment. So. See, we, we, we also have, top, but she's quite good at uh, medicine and we wanted to keep her on board. So, now this guy has not a lot to really, he's got 60 trade. And she has 81. Is that the, the two that I had on me? Hmm. Kalthi, Tora. Oh no, Tora. Okay, so Edwin. I might bail Edwin out, I think. I await your orders. Yeah, um. Yeah, we're going to get rid of him. Alright, so he's gone. 
Let's go back in and hope that, yeah, Quith, the golden's still there. Because this guy is going to be really handy. Alright, great. So we've got a good fighter. He's extremely good and we're great for tournaments. Things of that kind of nature. Let's just quickly check the trade, see if they've got any of those forces that I'm after. Nope. And let's head, keep on heading down this way. These large settlements, there's a castle down there. You're always annoying someone in the, when you do uh, family matters, you piss somebody off and then you, you know, gain the trust of somebody else, so. Um, okay. Check the tavern. Noros the, si Nortos the Silent. We don't have any room for people in our party. Um, we should, let's have a check this guy out and see what he's like. Oh, he's very good in fighting and things, but we're kind of looking for some traders at the moment. So until we build up how many people we can carry in our party, we really... Hmm. Okay, we'll give that a miss. There is no tournament happening. Oh. Let's attack these bandits. Come on, you get them. Alright, surrender. 53 to 11. I'll send the troops in, I think. Took some prisoners, and oh, we got another horse, which is great. All right, so we still need three of these horses, and that's going to be completed in six days. Got one of our companions back. head to this town over here. City I should say. Actually what's going on here is a quest in here. This guy needs manual laborers. So let's have a talk to him. I just it's been a while. Yes. I uh, heard you need problem with the problem. Um, so basically Yeah, they're demanding higher wages, the people in the village, so he needs some workers for his mine, criminals. He's 14. Uh, you're paying 10 times more than they're worth. Okay, that's great. So, I will bring you at least 14 prisoners as soon as possible. And we already have some. Um, sir, a moment of your time. You're on a job for Litrus, am I right? Look, our people are depending on those jobs. He doesn't need to pay us a living wage if he can do the work. The prisoners, please break your agreement. Oh, I can't see that, mate. I haven't made an agreement. My word is my bond, dude. Um, so, I understand your concern, Headman, but I made an agreement. How about we share the profit? Ooh, share the profit. Um, I'll share the profit. It's not what we want, but it's more than nothing. Okay, that's all well, right. We're gonna share the profit, but we need um, we need some we need to give him some 
some um, some manual laborers. We need 14. At the moment I'm carrying 14. So that's good. Uh, so what I'll do is I will give them while I'm here to him. Uh, about the task you gave me. Yes, I brought a few good men. We're going to give you all 14. Still working on it because we've got plenty of time. And we're going to leave. And apparently save the game. She turns what I save off. And just to give you an idea, we've got 740 because we are sharing the profits too. So we need, need to, well, we have, I mean, we have 20 days. So that's quite a good amount of time. So we just need to find some bandits. Anything happening here? We have no tournaments. Do I have any horses that I need? Nope. There's some, um, Catch up with these guys. You got a problem? I do have a problem. Not if you give up, though. Prepare to fight. Yes. All right. You'll never take us alive. Well, that's gonna be the opposite. Considering taking you all alive if I can. Only three. It's a bit of a shame. Grab all your loot, though. And we'll head back this way. Actually, um, there's a horse town down here. I need tools, which is usually pretty easy. Let's have a look if they've got any of those horses that I need. Oh god, everything's really expensive down here. Everything, because they're so far away, probably. Alright, let's have a chat to this guy. Hey, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. I am Andros. Who are you? I am Thakril, and he talks for the people. Sounds like, yep, yeah, I'm a good man to know. That's true. You have a problem. And he basically needs... Tools. Okay, so he needs tools. That's easy. He needs three loads of tools in 30 days. Um, I feel like short, I'll make the payment in kind with three Nashwasis. Okay, we can do that. All right, let's um, we can analyze ourselves because we just need three tools. I've got a city here. Let's head back over to that city and see if we can pick up three tools. We have a war happening here, by the looks. And yes, tools are found. In the food section. Oh, I can't pass them. There we go, three tools. One, two, three. Head back to this town. Cost is 300. It's been a while. gave us 
three of these horses, which you can see are quite valuable, which is good. So, um, picking up some horses for free, kind of really paying 300 for three of those, which is quite good. Okay, um, let's head up this way. character has a charm point so you gain plus one renown and influence for each issue resolved it's quite good um, every time you defeat an enemy lord party you gain one relationship with a random notable and increase influence gain from battles by 30 percent every time you defeat an enemy lord i like the idea of one renown for each issue solved so we're gonna do that Okay, he's got what is he highlighted? Oh, crossbow cancel, here we go. All right, so Too many men at the moment. Can we offload these guys? Get rid of one more. Oh, we'll just get rid of one of these guys then. There's an opportunity though to get rid of somebody in my party. Um, let's have a look at. Okay, uh, trade is 80. This guy is not really doing much for me, to be honest, I don't think. Neither is Willowbark, really. She's giving me some medicine and stuff, but my brother is doing that. Not anyway, um, I need to get my brother to Orthros so he can we can maybe give him a get him a baby or something um so we'll get we'll get poor frost hang on um this guy's a good fighter so we definitely want to keep him so let's get rid of this guy i think we maybe done dead eye yeah okay oh no he's running a caravan at the moment Okay, um, the cow feet dude, I thought we'd gotten rid of this guy. Oh, don't forget about this, we need to collect our gold. I'm not sure this guy's really doing much for us, Andros. Uh, 
Maybe we'll have a, we'll get rid of Mr. Andros. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> we don't want to get rid of him. Okay, that's funny. There's a bit of a battle going on here. Still having trouble getting those horses that I want. Get rid of some of the stuff we've got in here though. Oops, don't want to get rid of those. Okay. Oh, let's get. These looters. Back off, stranger, unless you want trouble. Surrender or die. I'm gonna take you alive as we will. Pick up two more. That's five now. Need to complete that quest, the laborers one. That's it. Scar. Okay. Which is over this way. A few more prisoners would be handy though. We're sharing the profits on this one. Some more. How long have we got left on that? 13 days. That's alright. Can't get those horses, unfortunately. Well, I was trying to find bandits and raiders. It's becoming a bit of an issue. Interesting horses. Okay. Well, we could send off, um, can't sell their products. It's Yours is not a face I know. Okay, we get one of our companions to do it. Five days.
Okay. Much like finding more prisoners. It's annoying. Oh, there's a hideout. Here we go. That's what we want. Okay, we don't want. He's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to take. Let's take some footmen with myself, I think. It's pretty straightforward. I want to try and capture as many as I can. screams Hang on, let's go the same way dudes And that'll be this way Okay, a couple more left, and that's it, I think. Hopefully, we'll pick up a few prisoners from this batch. Head back to that town. Bang that we're sharing our rewards, we probably want as much money as we can. There we go. Six behind him, eh? Oh, we're not gonna duel. We're just gonna take you on. <laughs> we lost one man. Hopefully he's not dead. Yeah, he is dead. Oh, that's alright. Picked up quite a bit of renown for that, though. And we picked up 14, 20. Love it. Okay, so that's awesome. And we picked up quite a bit of stuff. This spear is pretty good. Got a good thrust. Handling is not too bad. I'm going to swap that out with that one. And we got some another horse. We got some bits and pieces. Um, just going to... Um, Arm up these guys a little bit better. I don't think anything else about shoes. All right. Better boots. Better hats. My brother is looking a bit. Average though, isn't he? I need to. That's alright, let's take all this in. 
All right, we need to make our way back to this place, Poliskia. Yeah, we already got it tracked, which is good. Okay, so they return two days. How much time have we got on that one? Still nine days. I don't know. How we're gonna we only got two days to get these horses. So we're gonna. This guy's not going to be very happy with us, so unfortunately, we're not going to get those three horses. Next time, don't take a task like that unless you know you can get them. We've been playing for a bit over an hour, so we may um, take a break here. And um, yeah, so you guys are getting the idea of the walkthrough. I'm not sure whether you guys still want me to continue with these walkthroughs. If you're enjoying them. We have another 25 for you. And we're going to just settle there. We've got two, not as much as we've been able to get in the past, but we'd have to split the profits. Would have been double, I think. Which is a bit of a shame. So, here it comes. Alright. So, yeah, guys. Um, If you're enjoying this... Please uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to continue to play along and you can see the journey that I'm taking. Uh, any, if you have any tips or things that I may have missed along the way, please let me know. Um, we're going to try and, I think, marry somebody or at least get my brother to go to Poros and then... Yeah, maybe we'll we'll try getting him to have a baby. That'd probably be the next thing, I think. All right, well, again, thank you. Like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. And please, lots of you know comments if you got any tips for me or things that I could be doing differently, things I've missed along the way, um, other tasks, and that'd be great as well. Uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks again, guys.